Now, you know, Paul is the person who said in Philippians 4, 4, rejoice always. And again, I say rejoice. Okay. Always. Let me say that again in case you thought it was an overstatement. Always rejoice. Always rejoice. Always rejoice. That's the Paul that wrote Romans 9, 2. which goes like this. I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my brothers, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. You see what what this anguish is. This is the anguish of my family is going to hell. I don't think I can bear this. Right? That's, that's what he's saying. They're cut off from Christ. They're cursed. They're walking away from their Messiah. And I'm doing everything I can to commend Christ to them. And they're not receiving it. In fact, they're calling me an imposter. They're slandering me. Oh, God. Every day I bear this. Every day I bear this. This is an unceasing anguish. That's the one who said, rejoice always. And again, I say, rejoice. So is he disobeying his command? In Philippians 4, 4. And 2 Corinthians 6, 10 is the answer. No. He is sorrowful. Indeed, he's in anguish. Daily. And always rejoicing. So I look around at you, and I ache to find somebody who's who's risen into this or sunk into this. This is us, Christian. This is us. Sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. Weep with those who weep. Somebody's always weeping. So picture yourself now at a table at your favorite restaurant across from that person that you love. You give your life for them in a minute. In a minute. Jump in front of a train, take a bullet. In a minute, you're sitting across the table from them at your favorite restaurant. They've heard you share the gospel with them and they've rejected it. And you say to them, I want so bad for you to believe. And God gives you the grace of tears. He gives you the grace of tears, deep love. I want so bad for you to believe. I want you to be a follower of Jesus. I want you to have eternal life. I want us to be together forever with Jesus. I don't want to lose you. I don't think I can bear it. It's like a stone I carry in my chest. What is that? What do you, what's that? That's sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. And it may be a gift they've never heard before. It's not chipper. Last thing they need right now is, oh, Jesus, blah, 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 blah. blah. They don't need anything like that. And they don't need your pain. And they don't need your painless joy. They need both. That's what's so unusual. That's what's so tangy. That's what's so bright. That's what the world needs from the church. Sorrowful, yet always rejoicing.